Grandma, can I sing you something? Yes. Tumble out of bed and I stumble through the kitchen. Pour myself a cup of ambition. A yawn and stretch and try to come to life. I even forgot what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> when I popped off, then you go gave me just a little bit of light. Black cat bring good luck, not bad luck. I have black cat, see him face. People always ask me, does the Rolls Royce actually come with an umbrella? Yes, it does. And it is a $3,000 umbrella. You get one on each side. What? The cursing. Oh, damn. Crap, fuck, sorry. <laughs> like I said, there were kids watching. I got it. Kids, don't say fuck. Peanut! <laughs> At home. All right, guys, you wanted it. I listened. Here it is, my full version of Canadian Post Malone. Yeah, we got multicolored money, and Americans think we talk funny, but we still got a kick-ass country. Everywhere that I go, you know I'm saying, hey, you Yanks don't like us. That's all right now. Remember that time we burnt down the White House? We'll always be as polite as you let us be. But if I was you, I wouldn't mess with me. Everywhere I go, feels like I'm trudging through a foot of snow. Most people say they don't like the cold, but it's Canada. That's the way she goes. I'm wearing shorts when it's 10 above. And yes, I'm talking in Celsius. West to East Coast, yeah, we're all Canucks. And they're probably just jealous. I'm uploading the full version of this to, uh, on Friday. I'll put a snippet on here. And full thing is on my YouTube, so go check it out. Um... Bye. I'm in the car with my grandpa and we're supposed to be going to the grocery store. Well, we passed the grocery store and I turned to him. I'm like, Grandpa, what are you doing? The grocery store's back there. He's like, oh, son, we ain't going to the grocery store today. I'm like, well, then where are we going? He's like, we're going to the strip club. Your grandma told me you're having a little trouble in the women department. You ain't forking, Katen. So we're going to the place where a couple single dollar bills can fix anything. I'm like, Grandpa, I'm not going to the strip club for that. You know all them diseases you can get in that strip club? He's like, hey! He's like, don't be judging a stripper when you don't know your family history. He's like, where do you think I met your grandmother? At the strip club? She used to be a stripper, made all kinds of good money, made more than me. They used to have a nickname for her, what was it? Oh yeah, they used to call your grandma the Golden Puss Puss. <laughs> I'm like, Grandpa! This baby right here is 18 years old. I've had him since he was four weeks old, and he's literally been with me through every milestone. Every graduation from high school to my bachelor's degree, from moving out on my own to getting married and celebrating 14 years of marriage, he has been with me through it all. His name is Ramsey, and he's my best friend. There is one thing about females I do not understand yet, or how they do it, why they do it, or how is she even comfortable. Hold on, here's the scene. They get in here, they sit, they say it's comfortable as fuck to do their makeup. You gotta go to bed. You gotta go to bed. You gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go to bed. <laughs> that was so pretty. You gotta go night night. You ready? Uh, Hello. Are you ready to go night night? It's a bed time. Uh, it's a bed time. Uh, you have to. It's, uh, a, it's night uh, night time for a baby uh, bird, and you gotta go to bed. Uh, you do. Uh, Hello. I love you. You ready? Get on your perch. Uh, all right, swing it in. 
There we go. Good girl. Uh -huh. Cool, say hi. Hi. Now say it British. Hello. Say it Scottish. Right! How you doing, lad? Okay, now say it Boston. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> now say it Minnesotan. Oh, hey there, guy. How you been doing this? Uh, <laughs> happy New Year, you know? Somebody's gonna hurt someone Before the night is through Somebody's gonna come under There's nothing we can do There's gonna be a heartache tonight A heartache tonight, I know that's gonna be a heartache tonight A heartache tonight, I know Oh, Lord, Lord, I know Well, I just picked up a hitchhiker Seemed like a nice guy And then he's a couple minutes in, he asked me, he said Are you not scared that I might be a serial killer? I said, the odds of two serial killers being in the car at the same exact time Is just really unlikely You know your Canadian win Your gym bag has a Canadian flag on it you have some evidence of Tim Hortons in your car. And you go to step out of your car and it's like a skating rink. What the frig is this? So I did a shutdown last summer and I met a couple old guys that are fucking real stand up gentlemen. One of the guys was Fred, he's a big aboriginal fellow, fucking awesome dude. And the other guy, Dave, and they used to joke around a lot, right? So one day Dave tells me and all the other younger guys that are on site, like, yeah, Fred over here, he can tell the fucking time by looking at the sun. So we go, fuck off, no way. Fred, what, what time is it? He takes his hard hat off, right? He's fucking looking up at the sun, like, fucking puts it back on. He goes, uh, it's about uh, 125. So he's looking, fucking, yeah, it's like 123. Like, fucking guys, like, bang on. So how the fuck do you do that, Fred? So oh, it's in... It's in my blood, it runs in my family. Well, okay, a few weeks go by, we keep getting him to tell us the time, and then finally the day comes, we find out that this fucking guy's got a fucking watch tape to the inside of his goddamn hard hat, had us fucking going for weeks. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you ready, Mom? Yes. <laughs> I better not see any fingers down. Put a finger down if you've ever lied to any of your children. Put a finger down if you've ever talked shit behind your children's back. That was fast. Yes, I talk shit most of the time. <laughs> what? To his other siblings? Oh, of course. <laughs> when I talk to you? When I talk to her? I didn't ask. Never mind. Mm. Put a finger down if you've ever had a boyfriend after your children's mm. father. <laughs> you better not put that down, mom. No, it's not down. It's 50, 50. <laughs> I need to have a sibling meeting because this is serious. I never knew about that. Why would I <laughs> let you know? Never have I ever talked to any of my children's exes behind their back. Mm -hmm. Don't put... Who, who's ex? Your ex is <laughs> ass. <laughs> It 
all started when my mom met my dad. They fell in love and got married, and then they had me. And me. And me. And me. And me. And me. So I'm pretty sure when God was making me, he was like, all right, bet. We'll make her super tall. Make her have a super deep voice. Make her want to dress like this. And give her all the other characteristics a lesbian has. But wait. She gonna like men. So, I'm going to talk about Jesus. Hallelujah! Yeah. That's too loud. Okay, sorry. Do it nicely. Oh, okay? yes. Hallelujah! <laughs> this point you're just trying to suck up no. you ruined my sunday <laughs> literally you ruined it hey you ruined the last 13 years of my life okay but like more importantly it's the biggest betrayal of a relationship you let me sleep on the couch <laughs> you let me sleep there I you didn't you wait up. you did not obviously not you think i said mm, where do i want to sleep on this uncomfortable couch or cuddling my babe i would not have picked a couch but you know what you said you said where do i let my babe sleep on that uncomfortable couch and get to bed myself and you said fuck it i'm gonna take the bed I you're, myself. you're gutless you're a gutless human being I had a great sleep yeah i did not okay i woke up my back sore i'm already fat i'm already at a loss here you ruined it you ruined my life.